My name is Garrett Johnson, and uh, I was originally going to talk about Lambda workflows and tools like APEC and how to build uh, these simple systems, and then I realized that I really didn't want to do that. Um, but I was actually more interested in like why is it that um, you know Lambda is so easy to make these you know pretty great systems? Um, you know, what is it that makes them great? And uh, it kind of distilled it down into um, you know simple, intelligent systems. And I really want to dive into, you know, how to make simple, but yet keep it intelligent so you're not building naive things. Um, so to get started with simple, uh, you know, you've got to understand what you're doing. You know, the, I'm sure you all work at different places and you probably have worked with some people that just don't understand the context of what they're building. Um, so but first, you need to understand, you know, the, the business use cases and the, the stakeholders and work with everybody and not just build useless things for no reason. Um, and then uh, kind of diving into simplicity, um, like the system itself, like what does that mean? Um, and to me, it's really about, it's, it's easy to reason about. Um, and it's easy to change and it's easy to replace. Um, you know, you spend too much time building these elaborate systems that try to handle all these use cases that we really don't even have, because um, that's just what engineers do. Um, so getting to uh, easy to reason about, what does that really mean? That the code itself, you know, the engineers deploying it, it needs to fit in your head. Um, that means you can just look at it, it solves one use case, and it's easy to replace and debug and operate uh, for the rest of your team. So once you kind of start getting the simple solutions for the problem, uh, you gotta deal with all the bullshit. Um, you've probably uh, seen a lot of stuff out there that's just way over complicated for what it needs to be. Um, you know, you got a lot of cases like this where the guy just needed a napkin, but he ended up seeing this contraption. Um, that's what a lot of developers do. Um, I used to do it and I used to you know, feel really cool and clever because um, I didn't really appreciate the simplicity of all. Um, but operations, they do it too, you know. You probably just needed to upload a file and then they felt the need to build a, you know, federated Kubernetes cluster to upload your file. Um, so, yes, going back to context, you got to understand it and work together to, you know, build a simple solution for developers and operations. Um, you need to communicate, you know. You can't just be naive and say, hey, developers don't know what they're doing, they don't understand the system, you know, so rather than you know, being able to log into AWS and configure your memory and your timeouts and upload your code, we try to build these magical systems that do everything for them, um, rather than just teaching them about how to build it uh, correctly. And I put in a water break because I'm losing my voice. <coughs> So you can't just be simple. I mean, just simple for no reason, you'll end up with something that still doesn't really work that great. Um, you gotta have a balance between simplicity and you know, intelligence. Um, you know, a lot of us think of intelligence as, you know, those, as those elaborate systems, um, but it's not. It's, uh, it's the perfect balance uh, between the two. Because um, you see here, you know, super simple, you just, uh, you're just being naive. Um, and you're not really solving the problem at all again. Um, so really intelligent is, you know, being aware and informed and resourceful. Um, so being aware, you know, just like I said about, you know, the Lambda case is, you know, you gotta be aware of your environment. You know, you gotta tune your memory and your, your timeouts and everything. And that enables, uh, you know, to be able to reason about the system um, and everything starts connecting. And you need to be informed, um, you know, from your operations team about those things. You got to teach. You got to work together to uh, figure this out, rather than just building magical tools. Um, as you teach people about being able to connect all these different pieces, like Kinesis and you know IoT and all these different things, you can build these decoupled systems um, without building a big uh, pile of bullshit. And that is it. <coughs>